okay, well, that is causing confusion in your life. Not us. You know what I mean? It's like we're, we're pretty consistent when you say. Yeah. I mean, uh, at the end of the day, we're pretty consistent. You pretty much know. And so when someone pokes at you, that's not what is causing the issue. Where did you get off track? And you can't seem to put a finger on it. Because you're guessing. But you know what? This is a life and death situation here, bro. Really, chances are your dad's going to outlive you. Statistically speaking. So we can't, you know, spend a lot of time in the guessing area. We gotta see things clear for what they are so we can accept them. And start moving away from the insanity. And the only way to do that is to be clear. And that's what this table is. You know, every one of you knows. You get up to this table, unclear, and I'm going to put the spotlight on it and get it real clear. No matter what you say, what your number is, what comes out of your mouth, doesn't matter because I know I've got a nose for it. You know it. It's not because I'm trying to push anyone into any particular thing, it's because I know what that place feels like. I know it's a life and death position. I know what comes after it. And so I have to shed the light on it. And so uh, we're gonna continue to shed some light on it. So where did it go wrong? Well, let me help you identify some of the undeniables in your life. Probably when you started letting it. Probably when you started listening to the voices. We all have voices. Some of us listen to them, some of us don't. Free will from thought moving forward. So my guess is when did it start going wrong? Well, probably when you stopped fighting and working and doing the things in which you need to do to move forward and you started believing and accepting the old story again. And you say, so you say memories and then you want to throw it back to the last time you were here and all that type of stuff. That's the garbage. And so what our focus is on is what becomes us in the physical reality of our current moment. So somewhere along the line, you started listening to the old stuff. You started consuming it, accepting it, believing in it, allowing yourself to go backwards. It's not because you're going through some season. It's not because you're going through a bad time. It's because you didn't ask yourself the questions, can I or will I? Because if you'd asked yourself, can I, you'd have said, yes, I can. Because I've done it before. I've got a month, two months, whatever momentum moving forward, but I've experienced some of the fruit from doing these things. So yes, I can, I know I can, because I've done it. Number two is, will I? Not, that's, you just, no, you will not. Because you want to get back in that comfortable, nasty place. Because you think it's easier. Because you think if you get a label put on it, or maybe you get a particular pill, or maybe you get this, or maybe you get that, that it's just going to go away. Like, you know, you could rub on this lantern and this genie's going to pop out.
And so the further you get down in that place, the harder it is to come back. That's why it's so important to spend time engaging and practicing in the new conversation. Exactly. You know, I mean, because if there's nothing to engage in, we'll revert back to what conversation we know. And ironically, well, what we talked about last night was think it, see it, do it, and eventually you get to be it. Yeah. And so what we found out through some deep conversation last night was the word think it has some weird power to it. Like we have the ability to think of something new. But the reality is, is that there's nothing new. There's nothing new under the sun and history repeats itself. It's undeniable. So that word think is jacked up because it makes us think that we you know, it's in our ability to think of something new, but what we decided last night was that it isn't think it. It's examine it, accept it. What's that? Our current position, where we came from. Now, once we do that, then we can see it. And what are we going to see? What it would feel like to not be in that position anymore. What it would feel like to not participate in the old story anymore. We've got to spend time in there. It's a... you got to take time to see it. And think it isn't, think of something new. Think it is, see who I am, where I am. What are the, what's the truth? And so then you can look at that and say, I can see it for what it is. I don't, ha I don't need to spend time in this place anymore wondering, guessing on whether or not I did what I was supposed to do. You know damn well you did what you were supposed to do. And thank God you had that opportunity because you might not be alive at this current moment in time. When you got here, you were so grateful. And even though your uncle passed away, which was a difficult thing, especially after everything you went through with him, you were still grateful because you knew who you were, where you were, where you came from. You knew the facts, they were undeniable. And that's why it's so important to know these things, to remember these things for what they are. Not what we guess or what we think or what we wish or what we hope or what we wonder about. It's a bunch of garbage. It's what it is. It is what it is. And we say, you know what? Wow, I remember what it feels like to be back in that place. So I don't, I don't know what I, why I feel like this now, except for the fact that I've been drinking my own poison. So I'm going back there to that place because I've been there. I felt it. I know it. It's okay. I'm going to get through this. I'm not different. I'm not special. I was built. I was made by the same creator as everybody else. I was made in the same image as everyone else. And when you remember that, you remind your body who you are. All this crap goes away. This fear, this anger, this BS, this unwillingness which is the will I, it goes away. Because you say, holy crap, I was made in the image of the creator of all things. I've overcome more than most people will ever overcome in their entire life. And there's damn sure I'm gonna come overcome this moment in time. Because I can. 
And because I can, I will. It is what it is. And then you know what? Things start getting better. Things start feeling better. And you stop drinking the poison. You know what happens when we stop drinking poison? We start getting healthy. We don't have the side effects of poison. There's no confusion, there's no issues. We're, we're moving away now from all that stuff. And we had the power the entire time. You have everything you need, son. You were made by the same creator as I. And you were created for such a time as this. And you will overcome it. As long as you continue to belly up to this table, infinite possibilities lie ahead. And if you don't believe me, just look up. But here's my... But if he can do it, then you can do it. I know it, that's why you're here. That's why I said, Yes, even though I didn't really say yes, I said, Jake, it's up to you. But I knew what was gonna happen. So I was in, because I knew you could do it. Because I knew this place was different. I knew that I was different. You're gonna make it. Quit saying I guess. To hell with that word. That, that word is, is hell for you, it's death, I guess. Every time you say it, you should stop and say, no, I don't guess, I know. And eventually you'll start knowing. Because you stop guessing. I'm gonna be right here, poking and prodding, and helping you and loving you and encouraging you to be the man that you were created to be. And I, for God's sake, I'm trying to reach new infinite possibilities, son. I'm not gonna sit around and participate in that old story. We've got greater things ahead of us. And it's okay. It begins and ends with you. Accept and forgive. Accept, reconcile, and forgive yourself, Richie. Sometimes Jason has to force the reconciliation part. It's just my lot in life, I guess, for others. But you gotta accept it. I can help you reconcile it, and then you gotta forgive it. And turn the page, man. Turn the page. God knows what's ahead for you. You just allow yourself to experience it and be and to succeed. Because when you're equipped and then you position yourself to succeed, amazing things happen, right, Jason? I was just thinking, got so much that I'm, I'm still blown away. <laughs> I can't. I mean, I would have never thought any of that would happen in a million years. My family getting together, all the, everything happening right. But you being there. It wouldn't have happened ever in a million years, except for the fact that it did. And 
you know what? You can't read that in a book. There's no prescription. There's no way other than to just experience it. You could, one moment, one second at a time. You couldn't rehearse it, memorize it, play a whole play, and, and try to play it out the way you want. It wouldn't happen. So why sit around and try and figure it out? You should accept, reconcile, and forgive, and move on, turn the page, and see what happens next. I promise it's gonna be good. Kevin, I promise you, it's gonna be good. Greater than anything you've ever thought you could imagine in your entire life. Look it's already better than it was. Better than anything that you could have ever imagined in your life. But you just won't let yourself experience all of it. And it kills me to see you in the place, in this place, not in this place, in this place. Oh, you just won't let yourself. It's okay. All those things, it's okay. Turn the page, let it go. Just be happy, be okay with you. Forgive yourself. You can never repay it. So you might as well just take the gift and look at yourself in the mirror and say, I forgive you, Mark. Turn the page. Sobriety is not enough. It isn't, Kevin. If nothing else changed on top of sobriety, I'd have killed myself a long time ago. And there would be no Adonai house, there would be no cross, there would be no Jason, there would be no Mark, there'd be no Jacob, there'd be no Richie, there'd be no Will, there'd be no nothing. And that's why I continue to push well beyond. It's gotta be greater, and it, it begins and ends with you. And you can do it. You've already accomplished more than you ever thought you could. You're doing it. Every day is a victory. Every day is greater than anything you've ever experienced in your entire life. All of you. So quit getting in tomorrow. tomorrow. Fucking and accept today for what it is. It's incredible. See, I'm greater than my environment. I refuse to allow y'all to stay in that place. Whatever that place is. You know why? Because if I accept that, then I'm gonna have to stay in that place. You're not a burden to me, Richie. You're not. I'm happy that you're here. Every day that you're here, I get the opportunity to participate in a miracle. What the modern world says is impossible. Joy. But I choose that position. I don't come to the table and go, oh crap, here we go again. Same old story. I don't. If I can see it, you can see it. If I can be it, you can be it. If I can do it, you can do it. Closing remarks? No. I like what you said when I said in that because you said a couple of things that really registered with me. I'm just in this 
weird place. I was there last night too, so. I like your weird place. Put the fit on the camera. <laughs> Is that the space in between? <laughs> the space between. <clears throat> I love you guys, man. Life's a bitch. Life is tough. And you guys got it up on a really you're you're really set up nice. I'm not gonna say it's easy street, but there's no such thing. But it's pretty nice, man. Pretty nice setup. To deal with who you are, to find out who you are, to be on this adventure of self. See it for what it is. Be grateful, man. Start every day in that place. Because it may not always be here. I may not always be here. So, you know, our good friend Gary B, he thinks about all his family being killed and losing all his stuff and blah, blah, blah. Hey, it's not a bad place to go if that's what it takes to put you in a position of gratitude. Think about it. Look at the guys next to you. This could all go away tomorrow. It's undeniable. But thank God it's here today. Love you, dude. Get your hand. No, man, I'm, I'm feeling better now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, needed, I needed to hear that, man. And it goes back to what Eric said, I think, last week, you know. If, if you look at it and go, if this is it, you know, we're looking for something better, you know. And, I mean, I know I was I was stuck in the old story, you know, where uh, you know, Joe, Joey D talks about, uh, you know, we're addicted to the old story. So it's hard to push out of that sometimes. And, um, you know, we've talked about it before, get in that grateful place, you know, and, and I wasn't doing that. I was seeing the negative and things. And so I am blessed. I, boy, I forgot who I was, you know, for the last day or two. And, uh, you know, and when you forget who you are, you're, you're, you're on a path to destruction. That's when you start listening to that old story. So. I needed to hear, I knew I would hear it here, it's the juice. And what you said, Jason, is heartfelt, man. If you can't get something out of that, man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. We're all blessed. Like you said, we're all miracles. 